told me originally he lived in Orlando. And I once it started moving forward, I wanted to meet him. He was like, let's get this thing. I want everything out in the open. And then all, he had a trip he had to go to, to California. Did he ever, um, did you guys ever like FaceTime or Skype or video mm -mm. chat? So you never met? No, because he went to California very shortly after he, we started talking. And he was going, <laughs> when I say this stuff now, I kind of laugh at it. He was going there because he was investing in some gold and he was needed to go over to Africa. Um, and once he got there, he never came back. There was always a reason. And I've, I've seen this with other women. They've talked about whoever they were involved with had stories of investments. And all of a sudden they needed money. They couldn't get out of the country. You know, they had one emergency after another. How much did you send him? All, all mm. total well then. What I lost with him was probably well over five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand dollars. Do you have five hundred thousand dollars to give somebody? I did everything. I cleaned myself out. I sold. I sold my house. I had to sell my house because I took a mortgage on my house. This is so totally out of character for me. I've got a very small family, and the family members that know her, they just—it's like. They can't comprehend it because it's so out of character for me. Why do you think you fell for it? Because initially, the first scan, the first time he wanted money was because he said he had adopted kids over there, and um, they needed money. His credit card wouldn't work. I mean, the stories were elaborate. His credit card wouldn't work. He didn't have any money. He needed money to feed the kids. And I, I can remember walking across the public parking lot arguing with myself and I'm like if there's really kids that are hungry you can't leave them go hungry and that was the start of it. Well, I cut ties with him and then um, he would keep calling me and I wouldn't answer the phone and then um, eventually I'd pick up the phone. And the guy on the other end of the line like on the phone was it like a traditional phone like because um, I know they're overseas like it's like calling your cell phone. Mm -hmm. What did he sound like? He had an accident, and when I first started talking to him, I really couldn't understand him. I thought, well, this isn't going to go very well. What kind of accent? Like I couldn't put my finger on it. And he was telling me, um, I forgot what country he said he was born in. I couldn't identify the accent. But eventually I got to where I could understand him, although a lot of times I had to say, I don't understand you, repeat it. you know. But then I found out after the fact that they kind of work in teams. So that doesn't mean I was talking to the same person all the time. Right, exactly. So uh, what was your breaking point? Why did you decide to, like obviously you cut him off, but then you went back and what happened? Um, sent him more money, got in deeper. And at that point, I, I felt like I was chasing my money. I felt like if I backed out now, I would, never have the chance to get anything back. And it's funny because the women that I've talked to in the support groups, they all said the same thing. They were then chasing the money, like a gambler chases their money. Um, and I, what kind of brought it to a head with my family was when I knew I made the first few mortgage payments but then I knew I couldn't continue, that things were, the house of cards was going to start tumbling down on me. And so my best friend actually happened to be staying with me. She came down for a visit. And I had borrowed some money from her. And I think we were talking about how I was going to pay her back. And I think I was trying to borrow more money or something. And she's a licensed... Um, social worker and so she was putting all the things together and she says this is not like you what is going on and so when I had to confess to her what was going on um, then my brother-in-law was coming down and everything came out and I had to make decisions because I knew I couldn't afford to stay in my home I couldn't m make the mortgage payments did you ever contact the FBI mm -mm. because um, 
when the police came and we talked about it, they made it sound so daunting, so difficult to do that almost like impossible that you kind of felt shot down before you even started. And I was an absolute basket case at that time because my, my world was crumbling down around me and I didn't know what I was going to do. If people hear this and they think, you know, wow, she's not the sharpest crown in the box, right. the sharpest knife in the drawer, what do you want to tell them? Um, that I'm shocked at myself because I consider myself sharper than that. Um, and I could not figure out why I kept ignoring all the red flags. I literally was stepping on them, just walking right over them to get to the Western Union, you know, to things that my stomach was going in knots. Everything inside of me was telling me was wrong. I just kept going. Do you know now why you did that? Well, I think um, in the beginning it was because I thought the way he portrayed it, we were going to have a good life together. It was never really about the money for me. Um, and then it got to the point where I knew that was never going to happen, but I thought maybe somehow I can get some of this money back. You know, because at that point I was deep. If you have any doubts, any doubts at all about anybody, thoroughly check into it. I tried to do some checking and again, I just kept making excuses for the things that should have been there and they weren't. And now I'm to the point where I just, I have a real hard time trusting anybody about anything. And most of the women have said that. Why was it so hard to tell your family and friends? Because it was humiliating, very humiliating. Um, and I felt, I don't want to say the word stupid, but I couldn't believe I had done this. I felt that I had more intelligence than that. Why? Why did this happen?